So welcome to another video on my newest project, the 92 Jeep YJ. I wanted to design a way to remove the hardtop quickly by myself that didn't involve a whole lot of infrastructure or tools. So what I did is I actually designed a system where it can actually lift off its own roof using a series of ropes, hooks, and pulleys. So here you can see I fastened four different eye hooks uh, aligned with the four corners of the roof and hooked pulleys and a small gauge nylon rope through each of the pulleys. And then from here, the ropes go and collect into a very large roller. So you can see the four ropes here, which also combine down here into the primary roller, which allows me to pull from a single direction and lift the root evenly in each of the four corners. Here it just runs through an eye hook just to keep it in the right place and ultimately connects to another larger gauge rope through this carabiner. On the back half, I have these rubberized hooks. I just pulled out the vents that were in here that were help ventilate inside the roof and just hook them into those corners. Front, I have to go up over the roll bar. That's a key important step. And then hook it to the other side with another carabiner. At this point, you do have to disconnect obviously all the screws, bolts, and connectors in the roof. And then back to the front of the vehicle, the real key to this design was using the winch that I already had on the Jeep to lift its own roof off. So here I just hook it on to the winch on the end of the rope, again through another really large gauge pulley there in the corner of the garage. All right, so now we're ready to start lifting. First, we just tighten up the rope and then use the winch to lift off the roof. You have to be a little bit uh, careful here and just make sure it's lifting evenly and there's not any problems. There are a lot of single points of failure here, so you want to be careful as you're lifting it. And then get it up to the height where you, it's a little bit above where you want to leave it for permanent storage. Now once it's up, what I do is I install this 2x8 anchored with chains into, uh, into the rafters as well. And it just sits about on the midpoint of the roof, and so it's evenly balanced. I actually chose to leave the, uh, the orange lines attached uh, and secured those as well just to another hook in the garage just so I can make sure that I have a backup in case there were anything to go wrong with that board or get hit or knocked or broken in some way. All right, in order to reinstall the roof, I first back the Jeep in and I just put a board down so I know where to stop and put the e-brake on, put it back in gear and then I go about hooking up the winch and just doing a quick test lift just to make sure it comes off the supporting board and everything's working. Once that's up, I go in and remove the board just by separating the chains on each side. And once the board is down, I just take it and put it away somewhere for the next time. Then back in the Jeep and start the lowering sequence. Help it into place with your hand just to make sure it goes into the right spot. And then boom, your roof is then back on. At this point, I just go around and double check. As you can see, it's in here pretty snug and firm. I'll have to obviously put the bolts back in, the screws, and connect any of the harnesses. And that's that. That's how I built a power lift removal on my 92 Jeep YJ.